Here are the five things that bodybuilders and bodybuilding world got correct that you can use right now to build more muscle and burn more fat and get in better shape faster. So that's what we're gonna cover in this video. But before we go there, click the subscribe button below because on this channel, we're gonna learn how to become probably 1% of or less of all the entrepreneurs out there who are not just successful, but also have a great looking, strong, high performing, healthy body that goes along with the business success. What's up everybody, this is Coach Amir from 7figurebody.com and in today's video, we're gonna cover the five things, the five things that bodybuilders got correct that are absolutely true, scientifically proven to be effective and work that you can use today, starting from today, to build more muscle, burn more fat and get in better shape. So as you guys probably know, the group of people that is the most successful in really getting to you know awesome looking high performing body is bodybuilders as much as you know there's a bunch of things that we don't like about them that i think they just got wrong actually if you click this video here i talked about the seven things that they got wrong in this video we're going to talk about the things that were correct and a lot of them were actually way before ahead of their time and a lot of people are like, oh, that must not be true. And it actually ends up being true. So it's very, very useful. And you can put this in practice right away. So let's go straight into it. So the first thing is they've been saying from, I don't know, 50 years ago that if you lift weights, you need more protein than if you weren't lifting weights. Okay, this is kind of very logical like if you look at it now you're like mm, die you know if you're lifting weights you're breaking down the muscle probably going to be building some muscle if you eat enough protein so you need more protein compared to the sedentary person who doesn't exercise at all and doesn't lift weights yes of course you do however science has taken probably 30 years to prove this and say well yeah yeah they were actually correct so in short yeah you absolutely should be eating more protein if you're lifting weights compared to somebody who is not lifting weights and if you're wondering exactly how much protein you should eat to build maximum muscle click on this video here somewhere I actually did a video just on that exactly how much protein should you eat to build maximum muscle okay so that's the first thing second thing the bodybuilders got right is they always talk about calories first I have never heard of a bodybuilder in my entire life that says calories don't matter generally speaking calories don't matter crew is the marketers these are the people who are making you know millions of dollars selling bullshit books to gullible masses that don't know anything right so you know and again i'm not judging them it's just like you it's very easy to be confused because there's so many doctors out there who are you know like 99 percent of them are absolutely not if you look at how they look like physically how they perform that's not what we want right but and of course somebody can know what they're talking about without being in shape i get it but generally speaking you should never really listen to a doctor about what you should do for weight loss because they simply don't know anything about it and most of the doctors like you know carnivore that carnivore person dr saladino he's like psychologist and then you have the dr sarah godfrey or whatever her last name is she's a i don't know gynecologist you know gynecologist whatever it is like these people are doctors that have no absolutely zero understanding of how any of the nutrition things work and of course they know what's popular and masses don't want to hear that calories are king so hey let's cut carbs let's have carnivore diet or keto diet or fasting or some other bullshit out there that bodybuilders have never done that like i've never heard of a bodybuilder say calories don't matter so they number two here is they always talk about calories first because calories absolutely are king anybody with a brain knows that okay so remember calories are king when it comes to losing weight and gaining weight the third thing that they got right that is absolutely going to be useful for you is they always focus on the diet for burning fat and then building muscle is that's what lifting is for so they don't say i'm gonna go to the gym and lift weights so i can lose some weight no they say i'm gonna go to the gym and lift weights to build muscle because that's the point of that workout because calorie expenditure from that lifting workout is minuscule and irrelevant in the big picture of things on the other hand they say when i want to get lean i'm going to focus on the diet this is in very in lieu with the you know calories are king and also what they look at cardio as is okay i'm going to focus on my diet to create the deficit that burns the fat i'm going to you know go to the gym and lift weights to build the muscle and then if i need more i'm kind of like a little bit of help to burn more fat then i'm going to add you know appropriate levels of cardio to that and this is exactly how we should be looking at cardio yes it does have cardiovascular uh, health benefits it certainly does it's very good for you to do at least one to two you know 45 to 60 minute sessions per week uh, to actually you know have your heart be healthy and strong and absolutely you should be doing that for health as well but 
you know, if we want, and actually that's the majority of the reasons why you should ever do cardio is for cardiovascular health. Now, is it going to burn a few more calories more than lifting weights? Yes. But is it going to burn a ton of calories that's going to contribute in a huge way to your diet and, you know, to create that calorie deficit faster and bigger? No, it's not going to be a big thing. So you focus on diet primarily and then add cardio as needed to actually create a bit more of that deficit that may actually, or in some cases when you have, for example, a lean, smaller woman, she gets to eat very little. So in, unless, you know, we want to just have her do no cardio, and therefore she gets to eat nothing, or she gets to eat a little bit more. And then because of that, she has to do a bit more cardio so she can have a bit more calories. That's actually happened to me a lot of times when you have a 110 pound lean woman, of course, she's probably going to be doing cardio or doing enormous amounts of steps. So in that case, it's actually easier to do cardio. So this is the third thing, focus on diet for fat loss lifting weights for building muscle and then as needed add cardio to have that little bit more of an extra calorie burn to actually burn a bit more of body fat fourth thing the bodybuilders got right is they are very very science-based and they're very into like learning about what can i actually do in order to have better results so they're very you know like okay let's look at what this study says about how much protein should i and yes of course just like any other group um, there are, you know, these dogmas that are like, oh, you need to have an enormous amount of protein or you need to do, you know, this or that. Like, there's a lot of things that, of course, they got wrong, just like any other group. There's no group out there that's doing it perfectly uh, other than us entrepreneurs on this channel, okay, because we take all of that and see what makes sense. We use it. What doesn't, we basically strip and do not, you know, we abandon it. That's basically how I look at it. Everything that actually helps, it's science-based, makes sense, and in real world creates results. Awesome, let's do it. And everything that's been done for decades, but we see that it doesn't really make sense or it doesn't create results or it's really just a dogma that people are following just because people have been doing it for a long time. No, we just stop doing that, okay? So what I really like about them, they really are about learning and science, okay? Let's actually figure out what works, what doesn't. And even though, as I said, they do get a couple of things wrong, this is one thing that totally is the way to actually figure out if science comes up with something new, let's use it. Okay, and then the final thing is very, very similar to the fourth thing, and that is they're all about experimentation. So no bodybuilder in the world, as far as I know, trains exactly the same, eats exactly the same, and sure, I'm sure, you know, there's like similarities between them, but really, bodybuilders are all about, hey, I tried this and this and this, at least what I'm talking about is like really, really good bodybuilding coaches. So for example, um, you know, the unfortunately recently passed away, um, John Meadows, uh, the mountain dog, he's, he was one of the greatest bodybuilding coaches ever and just overall a phenomenal human being. The world, like we really lost a wonderful, just great, great, great person that was really sad that he passed away, unfortunately, but he was one of the like smartest, most open-minded coaches that I know. He would literally say, I've been training for, I don't know, 40, 50 years, but if I today found something that works better, I would like abandon everything I know and just start doing that. And he truly would. He is the person who would do that. He was, in my mind, an absolute perfect example of experimentation and then add to that a lot of science, a lot of common sense, and a lot of experience, which we certainly he certainly had decades of. I have two plus decades of it. And basically saying, okay, let's experiment what works for you. So that's how he, he came up with some things that pretty much nobody else does. Everybody just goes and says, let's do squats right away. Like he says, yeah, maybe, but you know, when you're 25, you can survive anything. Later on, when you get close to 40, like I am, you have to learn in order to basically not get injured and not be in pain all the time and crippled all the time. You have to learn how to do things smarter. So that's why with my clients, we experiment. Let's try this, let's try that. When it comes to training, especially um, diet, also, you know, some foods you just don't like. Some foods are great for you, but your stomach can't handle them. Should we force, no, 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 you have to have this food. No, we certainly should not. So basically we take what works, we experiment, try, you know, maybe a higher fat, lower carb diet maybe a lower carb, uh, you know, higher fat or whatever it is. Like we try anything in between and see what works best for you. Same with training. Maybe you like heavier weights, lower reps. Maybe you like lighter weights and more reps. Maybe something in the middle. Maybe you like training three times a week versus twice a week. Maybe you like three times a week versus five times a week. Whatever works for your schedule makes sense, keeps you healthy and safe, and most importantly, produces results. That's what we do. So these are the five things that I highly, highly, highly suggest 
that you take and start using your version of that, like in implementing this and incorporating into your routine, both when it comes to training and the nutrition and dieting in general, this is the best way. Uh, these, you know, combination of this that works for you, customized for you, this is absolutely gonna give you the best, fastest results. And by the way, if you're interested in, in doing that for yourself, please check out below this video in the description of the video, there is a link you can click to that shows you three simple steps that I take every single entrepreneur from wherever you are now today three to four months from today you can you know have a six pack be looking like a fitness model nobody being able to recognize you you know like your health confidence performance energy all day everything you want can comes from getting in great shape basically being 10 to 12 percent body fat and having a bit more muscle that's what gives you energy confidence productivity and everything else that we want and if you are interested in doing that and uh, interested in possibly you know getting our help um, in on that journey and getting you there like we have for 1150 clients so far in the last 14 years and counting uh, please check out that link three steps to getting uh, uh, ripped and that's absolutely free training that you can see. Uh, and if you have any questions, guys, or thoughts about this video, please post them in the comments below. If you liked it, please click the like button and that notification bell. Uh, bell. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.